Well, here we are. We're at it. We got that check valve out of there. We're just gonna plumb her in and see what happens. Hopefully she's gonna send. There's nothing in the tank right now. And... Okay, so the pump came on. We're coming up to pressure. Oh my gosh, people, look at that. It's no longer clicky clicky. Let me hook up my hose here and we'll try to run her through a cycle and see what she does. I gotta find my little bucket. Oh boy. Well, I think maybe we'll be good without it. Hose is junk, got a little bit of a leak on it. That's all right, we're just trying to run through a cycle here. We're already down to 50. Should be kicking on here. I'm just trying to make sure she's running through her cycles. No more of that clicky clicky, hopefully. I'm hoping maybe this will help some of you guys out too. It's all I could find was Schrader valves, and that is not what it was, I don't think. And we should be getting ready for it.
Should be about ready to shut off again there. And we have no clicky clicky. So what I come up with folks earlier, I had one of these beautiful check valves here. Nothing to them. Just real stupid spring and a nut. If I could figure out how to adjust that baby down some, you could leave them in there. But that there must have the right tension to just be just a little bit different. Because I had this in line right about here. And I was getting a lot of chatter and or that clicking. Uh, you can refer to one of my other videos for that. So hopefully maybe that will help some of you out. Because I know I fought this for a while and scratched my head. Had to dig deep far and wide. So alrighty folks there it is. There's another little trick. Put a ball valve on top of your pump and fill it. That way you don't got to monkey around taking a plug out all the time. Maybe it will help you out. Stay tuned for more tips and tricks from any fix-it.